Elmo's language is Dutch. He came, he came from um, a dog trainer who had dogs that were overseas. Is his name Elmo? So in our in our dog school and our training, we had multiple officers doing these types of exercises. Sexercise and dog, so in real life, I'm a little in, in real life, he bites a bad guy. Officers have to work around him to get that bad guy under control, handcuff him while the dog's still there. So all this training just pans out for real life. You train, you train very high and hard. Boy. So who wants to try to run from Elmo? Anyone? <laughs> Never works out good for me, but maybe someone else is faster. Good boy. That's it. The dog, the dog knows me, but it's all part of the sequence. Yeah. So the dog's, yeah, he's gonna bite. He's gonna bite the sleeve because it's training, and he, he knows what the sleeve does. He knows what it's for. So yeah. But, but out here, like, he's if still gonna go after you, even Sorry. though he knows you. Sorry. He's still gonna go after you if he gets the yep. command, even though he knows you. Yeah, because I'm presenting to him that I'm, I'm a guy that he should be going to bite. My job as a decoy to get that dog's attention, make sure the dog stays focusing on me. And Officer Seaman's job is to send him at the right time when he's focused on the decoy or the bad guy. Because we could be coming through here, you know, following a bad guy, and if we get him cornered here, if Officer Seaman feels like, yeah, hey, it's not safe, I'm not going to send him, that's on him. He does not send his dog. His dog will only bite an innocent person if Officer Seaman doesn't do his job right. So we never want that to happen. That's ultimately his his thing to send his dog. So there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, and it's, it's training and it's not really so much realistic, but there's, it's a small pot that the reason why we're doing this is for his obedience. That way, down, he's quiet, he's controlled, he the same then he gets to bite. Yeah, so that's, that's a good one. So our dogs get along with other dogs. Yes, our dogs are very uh, dog neutral. Um, we don't let our dogs play with each other because they're both very hyper. Um, so we don't want them to hurt each other. Not They won't attack each other, but no, they'll run full force into a tree, into a person. They don't, the dogs, they don't know their limit. They just run 100 miles an hour, play, and they can get hurt. And they can't work anymore, and that's on us. And then I'll be out of a job, and I have to go back to the jail. I have a six-year-old Rottweiler at home that Elmo and her get along great. So they're, they're fine. He's pretty much dog neutral. Yes, sir. 
Yes, fight and hold. Yes. Yep, correct. So fighting is, ne is never for punishment. Fighting is to distract and hold for the, the police to come in, put handcuffs on them, take the dog off, stay there because the guy, bad guy might become assaultive again or he might get away from the cops and then the dog can re-engage. Then we get a medical treatment every time they get bit. That's a must. They have to get medical treatment whether we give, we have medical kits on us so we might just do some quick laws depending on where we are. If we're in the woods or somewhere in a building, maybe there's another bad guy so we got to get him out and so we'll bandage up quick and get him out to EMS and stuff like that and then they'll take care of him. But yeah, so medical is definitely a must. Go ahead. Do I know where the dog is? Yeah, she's in my truck. <laughs> and that's so, our dogs live with us 24-7. Um, my dog actually stays in my house 24-7. Uh, she stays in her, I have a crate in my office. She stays in her crate most of the time just because she's so rambunctious. I gotta yell at her. I gotta chase her around when she gets socks or when she's ripping something up. It's not her fault. She just that's just the way she's wired. So she needs to see like she was in a crate. She relaxes. Especially when we both dogs when they first come home, they're in their crates and they are out. Four paws out and they don't move for at least at least an hour, maybe a little bit more. Because they're just so mentally stressed from the day they relax. 